And I'm just going to do another 30 seconds on testing. These tests are not 100% so sensitive or specific. Over and over again. So if you have 1% of your population seconds on testing, these tests are not 100% so sensitive or specific. And I'm going to go over this over and over again. So if you have 1% of your population infected and you have a test that's only 99% specific. That means that when you find a positive, 50% of the time will be a real positive and 50% of the time it, it won't be. And that's why we're really asking people to start testing in among the first responders and the healthcare workers and that may have had the greatest exposure because that's where the test will be most reliable. And then when we have the luxury, we can go out to broader and broader communities. But this has been the fundamental question to begin with and has been persistent. And we will emphasize to the American people again to ensure that when we are in an asymptomatic state, we're not passing the virus to others. Uh, certainly I have tried and Patrick has tried right from the beginning to balance two things. The seriousness of this virus as an epidemic, and it clearly is a very serious epidemic, but equally the fact that actually the great majority of people will not die from this. And I'll just repeat something I said right at the beginning because I think it's worth reinforcing. Most people, uh, well, a significant proportion of people will not get this virus at all at any point in the epidemic, which is going to go on for a long period of time. Of those who do, some of them will get the virus without even knowing it. They will have the virus with no symptoms at all, asymptomatic carriage, and we know that happens. Of those who get symptoms, the great majority, probably 80%, will have a mild or moderate disease, might be bad enough for them to have to go bed to bed for a few days, not bad enough for them to have to go to the doctor. An unfortunate minority will have to go as far as hospital, but the majority of those will just need oxygen and will then leave hospital, and then a minority of those will end up having to go to severe uh, and critical care, and some of those, sadly, will die. But that's a minority. It's 1% it's or possibly even less than 1% overall. And even in the highest risk group, uh, this is significantly less than 20%. I, the great majority of people, even the very highest groups, if they catch this virus, will not die. Dying of COVID. So the case definition is is, is very simplistic. It means at the time of death, um, it was a COVID positive diagnosis. So that means that if you were in hospice and had already been given, you know, a few weeks to live, and then you also were found to have COVID, that would be counted as a COVID death. It means that if um, Technically, if, even if you died of a clear alternate cause, but you had COVID at the same time, it's still listed as a COVID death. So um, everyone who's listed as a COVID death doesn't mean that that was the cause of the death, but they had COVID at the time of death. I hope that's helpful. Total death rate. It's worth remembering again that the ONS rates are people who got COVID on their death certificate. It doesn't necessarily mean they were infected because many of them haven't been tested. So we just need to understand the difference. Mm -hmm.